Welcome to The Life, an e-news media presentation. I'm Andy Cohen. And I'm Paul Romano. We hope you enjoy this glimpse into the life of Brooklyn Friends School. I'm Andy Cohen here for The Life at a historic event. This is the first time that I know of that Brooklyn Friends School is playing an interstate game. And we are playing a game against Friends Central. And here with me today is Marna Harity, who has been a coach at BFS for many years. Tell us about your new job at Brooklyn Friends. I am the coordinator of, for All School Quaker Life. So this is very exciting that it's Friends versus Friends. What Quaker values relate to playing basketball, a hard-nosed basketball game? The first thing that jumps into my mind is integrity. Like you want to play with integrity. And also community, have your own community within your team. But we're creating this community of friend schools across from the city of brotherly love to the Big Apple. Just go Quakers. And of course I'm rooting for BFS, but I'm really, it'll be a fun game to watch. Go BFS. So, Edward, you come from Friends Central, right? Oh, mm -hmm. Friends Central. And do you realize in Brooklyn Friends School's history, this is the first time we've played Friends Central, but it's also the first time that we played an interstate game. Mm -hmm. So we're both Friends Schools, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, do you relate any Quaker values to this match or to uh, basketball in general? Mm, yeah, definitely integrity, doing the right things, and definitely sportsmanship. And hard competition, too. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm, definitely. You always got to play hard, no matter what. Very good. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. What do you think of these guys? You looking over that? I, I really don't try to get into the, that in my mindset right now. I just try to play, see how they go. Recently, I watched you do some dancing. Mm, yeah, 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 I dance. How do you compare dancing to basketball? Both, both of the elements have like a, like a rhythm to it. So like, I'm not going to like say anything like it's, like it's like similar, but like when you dance, you have a rhythm. So like when you're, when you're playing basketball, basketball, you like, I guess you're like your defender or whatever, like try like to break them out their rhythm, like get in your rhythm and then try to break them out that rhythm. Like contrast it so like they, you can like get by and blow by to the, the basket and just like get that final, the final move, you know, like in dance. So that's like all it's about. This is between two friend schools. It's going to be like intense. There's still sportsmanship and, you know, two, two friend schools, two Quaker schools. Be no, there, there's nothing wrong with competition yeah, and no, Quaker no, values. That's yeah, what I understand. There's nothing wrong with competition. There's no violence, you know. Yeah. Not the, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, good luck. All right. Thank all right. you. Thank you Andy. Yeah. All right. Hello, my name is Sebastian, and today I am here for The Life. We've got a great matchup here from Brooklyn Friends School against Friends Central. And Quasi wins, he tips it back to Kobe. Let's see what happens on this drive. And it looks like they're passing a lot. Getting up. Oh, and Friends Central gets the ball back, taking some dribbles. Oh, and BFS gets it back. They go up. Oh, and they miss. Friend Central gets it back. They shoot the three, and it's a swish. Oh, they toss up another three, but it's no good. And now to our great courtside reporter, Andy Cohen, with a very special guest. I'm here now with Seth Phillips, who's the assistant head of Brooklyn Friends School. So, Seth, this is the first interstate match that Brooklyn Friends has played in its history, as far as I know. Is that true? That is not true. Back in the uh, 80s, or late 70s, 80s, we used to do this regularly, both soccer and basketball. So we played Sidwell. We went to D.C. and played Sidwell. We played Moses Brown. We played uh, a couple other places. Soccer, we went down to, uh, to Pennsylvania and played a couple of the teams down around Philadelphia area, Germantown, other places. Now we're back to the action here. We have Oliver on the ball. It looks like he passes to Ty. And he's in some desperation. He goes in, he's dribbling, he goes in for the layup, and what an amazing shot! There are seconds left in the quarter. Oliver gets the ball with the last second shot and it does not go in, and that is the end of the quarter, folks. Panthers are up 8-7 over Phoenix. Andy, what do you got for us? Okay. Hi, I'm with Ryan Tozer from Friends Central. He's the, uh, you're the head coach of yes. the team. And uh, what do you think of this match so far? You know what, uh, uh, Brooklyn Friends is playing really hard. Um, I'm really disappointed in our team's effort right now. We kind of started the game sleepwalking. Um, we need to match their, their intensity right now. They're just playing hard. They, they want to win. They look like a team that wants to win a game, and we look like a team that's just playing a game. Friend Central takes the ball, they fall, they pass it to Edward, he goes up for the layup, and one! Zane passes it in, it tries to go to Quasi, and Quasi makes an amazing save, passes it, 
Oh, and Fern Central gets the ball. They pass it up with a long pass. They go up, not good, and then Edward gets the rebound and it makes it in. Up next, we have BFS up. Jack Basner gets the ball, and it's a swish from three-point line. Zane coming up with the ball. They pass it to the point with a spin move, and the layup is good. And that's the half. Panthers 20, Phoenix 18. What do you got, Andy? So uh, what do you think, Coach? What do you think of this game so far? I really like it. It's about the deepest team we've ever had, including the state championship team. But uh, they play really well together. They're hustling on defense, and they're not being intimidated. It's a very good team they're playing. Right. Do you think uh, Quakerism has anything to do with it? Sure. That extra concentration that uh, reflection gives you helps. Thinking about what you actually have to do. It helped Matt Ryan, so it helps these guys. Certainly right. does. Okay, thank you so much, Coach. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, now we're back to second half action. Make a pass, but Quasey steals it. He's dribbling up. Passes the corner to Jack Bassner. Who's to three, and it goes in. Now I see Andy with an interview with Tai Sheehan. What do you have for us, Andy? How's it going? It's going well. It's tiring. It's a massive court, but like we anticipated a good game. We're getting a good game today. You know, It's a good competition. It's a good fight. How do Quaker values uh, relate to this game? I mean, everything is like, when you think about <laughs> integrity and peace and equality and all that type of stuff, the integrity that it takes for, you know, good competitive game while still keeping it at the level of peace and respect for everyone else. Like, respect is also a core value that, like, we all we have for each other, definitely. And we're back after the timeout, and Quace is taking some free throws. Jack Basner coming in, trying to create some space. Dribbles up, passes it back to Ty, passes it to Quasey, goes in, passes it to Finn, goes in for the layup, and it's good! Jack Basner taking some free throws, makes the first one. It seems like there's just no quitting in this BFS team. Fred Satchel taking it up for some space. Pass back to Bryce, who shoots the three, but doesn't go in. Jack Basner gets up, it's dribbling up. Goes in, goes for the shot, but it doesn't go in. Rebound goes to Quasey, goes in with the shot, but it airballs, saves it from going out. Finn gets it, goes in, and makes the layup. The Panthers still looking for some extra points. Jack steals the ball, goes up, passes it. Quasey gets it, passes it to Finn. Misses, gets the rebound, and scores. What a great game with the final score of Friends Central, 54, and Brooklyn Friends, 49. This is Sebastian for the Life Sports. You guys play great. Thank you, yeah, we play hard. Go for it. What was it like playing this team from Philly? Um, it was a good experience. I feel like we needed this game. It was a good competition. They came in from Philly, played intense, and we did as all, we did all we could possibly do in this game. But we're gonna come back next week better than ever. Do you guys want to go down to Philly and play some teams there? We'd love to. I mean, I, I would love to. It would be so much fun to like go on a road trip and play some more competitive teams from the area. It was really fun to play like a friend school and all that stuff from a different region. It was awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much and good game. Thank you. Yeah. All right. What did you think of the game? I think it was a great experience overall for our kids. It's from a team from Pennsylvania to play us. It's really good and it's a really high level of competition, both physically and skill-wise. These, these are great kids and they play really hard no matter what the score is. Would you guys like to go down to Philly and, and play a few teams down there? Uh, I'll speak for Coach. I'd love to go back and play them again. Absolutely. And I'm sure our boys would love the, the opportunity as well. It's, at the end of the day, it's a Quaker way. That's what we have to do. That's how we have to represent the school. Every time all five players step on the court, that's what we have to do. We have to represent the school, represent the community, represent the way of life that we do here. Okay. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Pleasure, Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Hope Thank to you. see you in the, the championships. <laughs> that's where we're going. All right. And just remember to let your game speak.